Hi, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I hope you're well, and if you have some time today, I would love if you journal with me. Today I am working in my two current journals, a grid journal, which happens to be an A5 Hobonichi Day Free, and an altered book junk journal. So I hope you can grab your cup of whatever you enjoy <laughs> and can journal too. In today's session, I want to share a little bit about my journal process, the things I love to do in each of the journals, take you along with that, maybe give you some ideas, and then I'm going to do a spread in each of them, <laughs> which is rare. Usually I do one or the other, but um, I don't know, I'm feeling spring. <laughs> and. I don't know, that burst of energy and ideas. So I do a lot of writing in my Hobonichi Day Free. Again, it's a grid journal. You could use any grid journal. It doesn't matter the brand. I do love this A5 size. And I have a lot of uh, writing of what I've done across the week. There's sort of a view of how it chunks up nicely. And a lot of paper fun, stickers, markers, Kind of see, I love color, and I do call it my week in review. Often it's a double page spread, but sometimes I do add a few more pages. <laughs> Very whimsical, doodling, hand lettering, bits and pieces of ephemera, candy wrappers. <laughs> So that's a little bit of a peek at that journal if you're not familiar with that or my channel. And the other one I've been working in recently is my altered book junk journal. And this one is really art with book text. I wanted to experiment. I also write in it, again, with more drawing, a little bit of ephemera making, pockets and tags, collage. Here's some modeling paste and yeah, just mixed media, playing with all of the fun things available to us. Sometimes I do use some graphics. I think that's from the graphics fairy on the left. Layering, matte medium. So today I'm gonna do a spread on this page that I have an old calendar page in. And again, just experimenting. That is a silhouette I made with washi tape. So an altered book junk journal can really be anything you want. For me, it's mixed media. And my Hobonichi Day Free is another place for me to document and write about the happenings in my life. <laughs> so really both journals, I think for me, are different ways to explore. And as I look over this one recently, I think those are some recent pages that I've done. And I often start with a little piece of inspirational something, whether it's a supply that I wanna try or a bit of color from, I don't know, a scrap of something. So for today's journaling session, I decided gouache was the next thing. <laughs> I haven't used gouache a lot. Oh, and if you can't tell already, I do speed my videos up quite a bit. I cut out some of the uh, extra gluing and cutting and things like that. <laughs> so heads up. And today I thought, I would use gouache, which is a little more opaque. It's uh, It will come down as a more solid color, so to speak, on the page. And I thought, I was very inspired by the little bit of book page on the right that says contents. And of course, if you've heard any of my videos, and I'm sure lots of us are just feeling that need for the change in season. <laughs> I am definitely in that group for spring. And 
I love this all kinds of plants and that very spring bit of book page. I'm gonna make a pocket with that later on. And I thought I would make these little gouache blobs. <laughs> I'm gonna let those dry to do a little bit of doodling and make some flowers. So we'll put that aside. This will be a very much a back and forth session between the two journals. Often I work in one or the other straight through, but in this session I had the gouache paint out and I thought I'll just do a little bit of gouache in both and also share a little bit more about my process in each of these current journals. <laughs> so I hope you're doing well. How is your journaling going? Are you an art journaler, bullet journaler? I obviously love these two styles of journals. Okay, and what I just did <laughs> as I was waxing on talking about my journals was I uh, put a background down with some of those pages I showed you earlier. I simply glued them down. I take a lot of time playing with the paper, putting a piece here and there, and getting the background down. My tip to you is, especially if you are just looking at the white page, oh yes, and happy, happy spring. <laughs> I live in New England, so we've had a lot of snow and such in the last few weeks and now rain, but lots of sunshine too, loving it. Um, the backgrounds <laughs> is what I'm saying, is uh, a great way to just break up your page. Add a bit of color, something, a sticker, and that way you'll get started before you even really need to think about what you want on your page. Put something that makes you happy. So again, I always write in my Hobonichi Day Free about the week. And I put the date in somewhere along the way. So it is officially spring, March 20th, today. I also put bits and pieces of washi tape and a few stickers from one of the antiquarian sticker books. I think it's, it is, it's the botanical one. Now, since I have the gouache paint out, I don't, I paint in the grid journal once in a while, but not as frequently. I tend to grab for markers in this journal. So it's a nice little change up when I already have the gouache paint out to use it in this journal too. So I'm doing a little hand lettering. And I think another tip is, I love pattern and color clearly, <laughs> but to bring your pages together, a little bit of dots or splashes or mark making of color between the two pages sort of adds the, um, the theme, I guess I would say. <laughs> More cohesiveness when you have a double page spread. <laughs> and that one's literally blooming with color. It's <laughs> just having at it. All right, so I hope that your journaling is going well. Are you a junk journaler? Are you a person that does like to play with paint? I find the exploration and learning and fun of playing with paper and supplies is one of the greatest joys of journaling for me, besides noting the little things that happen in everyday life and memories. So on the right hand side, there's a sunflower on the second image in that little pocket. And on the top image, I don't know what that flower is, but that's where I'm getting the ideas for this page. This is a zebra brush pen. It is one of my favorites and it is permanent. So if I added a little more water 
or paint, which I am going to, I'm going to splatter a little bit later in the session, <laughs> add some dots, it will be absolutely fine. So another idea and tip is if you're not sure what to do on your page, take inspiration from something that you have. So if there's a pattern, say on scrapbook paper or on a bit of book page, that can inspire you to do your own take on it. So that's what I did on the left-hand side. So I'm layering the leaves of the sunflower, just taking my time with a doodle. And what I'm really liking now is as I go over this, I'm pushing in on the side of the brush pen to make a thicker stroke. And I really enjoy that. All right, I dug around in my stash and I found this book page on the left that I thought would be really sweet, a nice addition for spring. And I'm going to use that, I think, as a journaling spot. And I have secured that bit of book page down so that it will be a pocket. So I'll, I'll fix that up later. All right, if you know anything about my splatter techniques, <laughs> I, uh, I make a mess. <laughs> so I am just plopping down a very washy, wet splatter of some white paint to add a little final touches. I did pretty well right there with uh, not making a huge mess. I know some people put it in a box or something and I never have the patience for that. <laughs> so there's that bit of book page. I like that for a journaling spot. All right, switcheroo here. <laughs> So this is bursting with color. I'm having fun with that. And I pulled some of these stickers out from that antiquarian sticker book. Here it is, it's the botanist sticker book. I usually mark the pages and then I take some out on my metal ruler so I can figure out which ones I wanna use. And now I have, uh, before I do that completely, I do have some more details. I'm putting in some pink from that candy wrapper. And it's amazing to me that this highlighter is a soft pink because it looks like a very bright fuchsia, but it's not. So just some more mark making. I don't always know when to stop. You stop when you, you feel satisfied, I guess. All right, now this is where my splattering goes a little bit astray. <laughs> oh boy. So my cute little plant on the top right has a little bit of uh, an issue. <laughs> I find that out at the end though. And I ended up using this B sticker. I, I like that from the uh, sticker book. All right. Happy spring. Happy journaling. <laughs> yeah, there it is. A little bit of paint. <laughs> so here are a few close-ups. Two journals. I'm really enjoying exploring in. Thank you to all subscribers. I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for watching.